What's up, YouTube? Smoking Dank 5280 coming at you for Couch Jockey Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how on the PS4 to download and play other people's builds on Minecraft. And I'm not talking about just going in and playing with your friends and playing in their world. I'm talking about you can actually download the big builds that you see people playing on YouTube and stuff, and you're like, oh, this is so and so's build. Go check him out. You can go download it from this link. You can't do that on PS4, not really. But here's kind of the workaround and the walk around and or yeah the workaround on how to do this. I don't have a capture card on my PC or on my PS3, so it's going to be kind of difficult for me to show you those steps. But I'll put the actual written um, important stuff up on the screen for you. If you think it's essential and you can't get it done without seeing it those ways, without the capture card on the PC or without seeing it on the PS3, there's a little donate button down below if you want to hook me up and we can get some extra equipment. Anyway, moving on from that. First things you're going to need to get this done are you need a flash drive formatted to FAT32. You'll need a laptop or a PC, your PS3, and a PS4, which this is what they don't tell you in most of the videos. There's a couple of them out there showing how you can do this, but they don't tell you you need both systems. And all they're really doing on those videos is showing you how they fucking back up their own backup save. It doesn't actually tell you. They tell you where to go, but not how to do it. So first things first. You got your flash drive. You got your laptop. On your laptop, go find a site that has Minecraft builds available. You will, they are region specific and they are system uh, specific. So you'll need, if you're in the US, you'll need a North America one for your PS3 slash PS4. If you're in Europe, you'll need the EU one with PS3 slash PS4. Um, pretty simple. But once you get that, find the map you want. Find the pack you want. Um, a lot of these sites have descriptions, and I'll actually put a link in the description for the one that I went to to go get a couple map packs. And it seems to work okay. The videos on there are garbage, which to tell you how to do this, which is why I'm making this one, but moving on from there. So once you have your map and your game saved downloaded to your computer, what you want to do is take your flash drive, plug it into your computer, and you want to set up in on the drive, again, making sure this thing is formatted to FAT32, a folder, all caps, that says PS3. Inside that folder, you're going to create a folder, all caps, one word, that says save data. S-A-V-E-D-A-T-A. -E and what you're going to do is you're going to unzip the file that you downloaded from the Minecraft uh, build site, whichever one you chose to. And you're going to take that unzipped file. You're going to need to locate it. It'll probably be in downloads on if you're running a Windows PC. Um, you'll want to locate that file. Now, once you locate that file, open it up and kind of go down and through the folders until you find the folder. It should be your third one in there because um, it'll be the name of the maps, save data, and then you'll see a folder that says NU and then a bunch of numbers and shit off the end. If you open that NU folder, there'll be some files in there, like six files. Those are actually your game data files that you need. But don't mess with them. Don't mess with the NU file. So what you do at this point is you take the NU file and copy it over to the save data file that you made on your flash drive. So your flash drive should look like on the file layout, PS3 slash save data slash NU blah, 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 all that shit. Once you have that, safely eject the flash drive and you're pretty much done with what you need to do with the PC. Take the flash drive. Put it in your PS3, and from the PS3 home menu, go over to where it says game, and go up to save data utility, and in the parentheses, it'll say PS3. And when you open that up, if your drive, if your flash drive is formatted correctly to FAT32, you will see the drive pop up as your first option you can select. Select that drive, and your Minecraft world save should be in there. If it's not in there try it again. If you try it a bunch of times and it doesn't work, hit me up in the comments and I'll see if there's something we can do to figure out what's going on. Once you're at that stage though, once you've verified that you can see it on your PS3, just save that game save. At that point, open once it's saved, you can get out of that little menu, open up Minecraft, and you should see the new map in your list of worlds that you can pick. Um, again, I'm showing you the PS4 version. It looks exactly the same for the PS3, and the it's just a different <laughs> a different console but so what you're gonna do at this point highlight or select the game um, your new game save and use R1 to save it to the cloud um, make your game save available so you can play it on the PS4 or the PS Vita For you thinkers out there you know where I'm going on this 
So once you have it saved to the cloud, I'm assuming it goes to the cloud. The cloud is just the right word to say. Once you have it saved to the servers, the cloud, where the fuck they're putting it, you can turn off your PS3 and go to your PS4. Once you get to the PS4, turn on Minecraft, R1, um, save data utility, or excuse me, once you're in Minecraft, use R1 to get to your save options and stuff. You can download, oh, is it Square? Yeah, it's Square for the... Uh, the PS3 and Vita saves. It's written right there on the bottom. Um, click that button, and then it'll pull up. Um, it'll actually download and save your new map off of your PS3. Once you have it there, you can just open it and go in and play. You will get some warning messages that um, this isn't your game save, and so saves and trophies will be disabled and shit like that. But that's how you know it worked. Um, and really, I'm not coming in here to mess with other people's builds. I want to see what other people build. This Some shit looks really cool. Not necessarily the one I picked up, but it's still cool enough. But that's how you do it. Um, it is possible. It's a pain in the ass, um, especially because most of the videos out there are fucking garbage, and they don't tell you you need to do this on your PS3 first. They just kind of mumble their way through, show you how to back up a save, pretend that they're uploading or downloading, give you some links, and don't show you anything. But this is how you do it. Um, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. For more videos, hit that subscribe button. If you know another way to do this or another trick that I don't know and you're like, dude, you just have to go to this on your PS4 and you can download them all, please put that in the comments. Because again, as you guys know, I'm a noob when it comes to Minecraft um, and I'm learning stuff every day. But again, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tune in to our live stream, especially our Sunday morning Wake and Bake, where we play Minecraft, do all kinds of fun stuff. That's at 8 a.m. Sunday mornings, uh, Mountain Time, Colorado time. Um, but that's going to do it for us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, smoke weed, play games. I'm out of here.